Yep. All right, coaches, um, I wanted to do a video so that you guys could help me out and tie some sandbags when you see that they're getting really loose or one becomes, if they come totally undone, um, it would be great if people could chip in and um, retie the sandbags. So I was gonna show you what I use. Um, you just need a um, zip tie and they all, all the bags have a um, lacrosse ball and a hoop, a silver hoop. And then you just need this black tape, which is in the, which is in the coach's office up in the corner uh, shelf. So this is the tie or to uh, tape around the outside once you're finished. So let me show you how it's done um, so that you guys can be um, proactive when you see a bag that needs retying. Um, so we have this 140, I, we uh, took the 140 bag that has a hole in it and uh, put in the new, put the sand in the new one. So I'm gonna try to get the old one patched up so that we can have two 140 bags. But you'll take and you'll secure the bag as tight as you can get it bigger the bag, sometimes the more bulky that the, the uh, fabric is on top. You'll take the silver ring, you'll slide it down. And push the fabric through. You'll get it as tight as you can down towards the sand, pull it out, out through the top. All right, so I have it as tight as I can get it. So you'll kind of see here that if you pull it back, you can see where the sand is. That's where you take the lacrosse ball and you put the lacrosse ball right there and you'll pull the fabric over the lacrosse ball, as tight as you can get it, tighter the better. And then you'll take your zip tie, you'll pull your zip tie, again, as tight as you can, as close to the ball as you can, stick the end through, and you'll pull that zip tie back on itself as tight as you can. Um, I've used a pliers as well to kind of really pull that end through as tight, tight, tighter the better because then it won't slip as quickly when we're using them in class. <clears throat> then you'll take a scissors. This is in the office too. You'll clip as close as you can to the edge there. If you have one, I've taken, sometimes I've taken a um, cotton ball or a piece of Kleenex like folded on itself to kind of cover that really sharp part. I don't have one right now, so I've just, I'll just double up on the tape. But you'll start and you'll place the tape around and you'll just start overlapping and circling that tape around that zip tie as many times as you feel it needs. I usually go pretty heavy on the tape just so that I want to secure it so it doesn't move. Um, and especially over that really hard zip tie um, point. And that's all there is to it. So, if you guys wouldn't mind, um, if you can look around and if you have a couple extra minutes, if you could just do two or three, um, when you see they're getting loose, a lot of them are loose right now, um, I would love it if you could pitch in and help me uh, retie some um, before uh, we get going here in January. It'd be great. Thank you.